Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're multiplying integers. This is a worksheet from mathdrills.com. There'll be a link in the description below. As you can see here, when we're talking about integers, we're talking about positive and negative numbers. Okay, so this is positive and negative numbers. That's an integer. So if you're seeing these negatives for the first time in multiplication, do not worry. It's not as bad as you might think. We're going to do multiplication just like normal, essentially ignore all these negative signs, and then we're just going to apply some rules at the end. Now, about these rules that I'm about to show, there's a good explanation that Khan Academy does, actually, that I really like. I'll try to link that in the description also. But basically, this, uh, this is going to be a summary of the rules that we have. So if we have a positive number times a positive number, these are our multiplication rules, thus the title. If we have a positive number times a positive number, this means multiplication, we are going to get a positive number. This is just like you had before. If we have 2 times 3, we all know that 6, positive times positive, equals a positive number. They're all positive. If we have a positive times a negative, this is where it's we have the new rules. So we have a positive times a negative, we're going to get a negative number. Okay. So if we have, let's say, a negative 4 times... I don't know, let's say, uh, we already used three, let's say five. We're gonna get a negative 20 as a result, okay? Because it's a negative and times a positive. There's one negative times one positive, the result is going to be a negative number. Now, same deal. If we have a negative times a positive, low battery, I know, negative times a positive, we're gonna get a negative number also, okay? It's just flipped around, but it's the same process, okay? So this time, Actually, I should have used this example for this one. Negative times a positive, should have used that one. Okay, and now we had uh, a positive times a negative. So I'll do seven times, and let's make it a negative number. I'll make it negative one. It's going to be equal to a negative seven. So positive times a negative, negative. Negative times positive, also negative. But then in our last scenario, we have a negative times a negative, and that is going to be a positive number. Okay, so real quick. Just an example, let's do negative nine times negative six. That would give us a positive 54, not a negative 54, okay? So just keep in mind, if we have two negatives multiplied together, it's gonna be a positive. Two positives is also gonna be positive. Now we're just gonna apply our rules here. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna look for just all the different scenarios that I've already described. So uh, here at the top we have positive times positive, that's just going to be positive. Then we have positive times positive again, 48. This is essentially like your mad minutes, okay? Uh, you just quick multiplication facts, but now we just have one extra step, and that is keep in mind if we have a negative sign. So this one, we have only one negative sign, and maybe I'll highlight all the negative signs in red. Okay, so we have one negative sign here. That's going to give us a negative number. Now, if we multiply by zero, it doesn't matter because it's just zero. Okay, zero is not positive nor negative. So anytime we multiply by zero, we're just gonna get zero. And I'm gonna leave it in purple because it doesn't have a negative or positive value. Okay, so all these zeros, okay, these are just all zeros. It doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, whatever. It doesn't matter what types of numbers we're multiplying by. And I think I've got all of them. This is kind of like where's Waldo here. And I think I found all the Waldos. All right, so with that being done, let's go ahead and get back to the positive and negative. And I'm just going to go ahead and run through this like a little speed run and see how fast I can do this. Uh, no, not yet. I want to do a couple more examples. So here we have negative 1 times negative 6. That's going to give us, as you might tell, we have two negatives. That's going to give us a positive number, positive 6. Let's see if we have any uh, other ones close by. Here's another negative times a negative. That's going to give us a positive 10. So we just do the multiplication of the numbers just as normal, but because it's integers and we have positive and negatives, we just have to keep in mind how many negative signs we have. In this case, we have one negative sign, so that's going to give us a negative 48. Again, for the one below it, that's a one negative sign, negative 1 times positive 5. That's going to give us uh, a negative 5. Okay, this one's going to be a negative 1. And here we have, let's just do a couple more. We have a negative 5 times one, that gives us a negative five, and a negative seven times positive five, that's going to give us a negative 35. Here we have two positives. This is just like before. That's going to give us 12. And our last one, 
before we just go fast forward, is a positive 8 times a negative 3. You'll know if it's a negative because it has to have that negative sign in front. And that is going to result in negative 24. Okay, we're going to fast forward and do this kind of like our own Mad Minute here. So feel free to follow along with me or do this on your own. Pause and check your answers. Let's do it. A little background music. Get us through this. And I'm going to use one color just so it's faster. Missed a zero, can't believe it. You guys didn't even say anything. Last row. And that's all there is to it. So that's the multiplying integers. You have all the answers here. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, maybe you could even race me, see how fast you can go and see if you can beat me. I'm not even sure how fast I did it pretty quickly, but um, of course there's other people that are faster than me. I'm sure you're faster. Just give us some practice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it below and I will look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.